Uh, oh, sorry. Um, right, we're back. Uh, welcome back. And um, French onion soup, that's where we're going next. We need a bunch of onions, we cut them up. That's our starting point. These are not crocodile tears, these are real tears. Real tears of joy, because this is gonna be so good. It should be in a movie. What's that? John's decided to live in London and never come home again? Oh, sorry, that was wrong. What's that? Susan's decided to live in London and never come home again? I don't think I can stand to live by myself. Pretty good, huh? I'd like to thank the Academy. You have no idea how much this means to me. I've wanted to win an, an orange pepper grinder since I was little and I told my parents, when I grow up, I'm going to win an orange pepper grinder. And I've got one and I have the Academy to thank for this. And everybody that, that's just out there. Thank you. Love you guys. Now, we just uh, saute them, remember that part? We're gonna add a little olive oil, season with a little salt and pepper. It's a lot of onions, so don't, don't skimp now on the salt and pepper. You wanna give it kind of a lot of nice uh, seasoned uh, flavor, right? And now these are just gonna saute. This, is, this part is about 10-ish minutes till they get nicely soft. See that? These guys are way, way cooked down from where they were. Now we add two things, one is dry cooking sherry and it's alcohol so you want to want to take this off the heat when you add it because we don't want any flare-ups so it just goes in we're gonna add a couple tablespoons of that you're gonna like that and that stuff's cheap it's like four bucks a bottle keep it on the counter use it for all kinds of stuff that sits there for a second get the onions all nicely ensconced uh, if that's the right term let some of the sherry burn off because remember the alcohol part it will burn off and I'm gonna add beef broth, and this is like four cups. Bring it to a low little simmer, and then leave it 25, 30 minutes, and it's done, and then you can eat it. Or then you can do what we're gonna do with it. Uh, we grab one of these things, you know, one of these cool little uh, soup bowl. Now this is a bit tricky, because you want lots of onion, uh, but you don't want to spill this over the edge. So. This is what we're talking about. That's what I'm talking about. It's getting hot, I'm dripping some on the edge. Bring it over here and set it down. One of the things that you do with uh, French onion soup is you put uh, like day old bread on top of it and, and heavy duty uh, Swiss cheese over the top and you throw it into the broiler. And we're not gonna do that. We're gonna use these guys, right? Puff pastry sheets, they come like this. You take them out like uh, 20 minutes, a half an hour before you need to use them and then you do stuff with them. So I've done that, and here it is. That's it, just like that. And here's what we're gonna do. So we take this guy and we spread him out. We wanna make now a circle that will go over the top of this. And that, that will be about this big, I'm hoping. But we'll just cut a big circle. Okay, you got this? Let's just stretch it out a little bit, and then right over the top. You could cut this outside stuff here, but it's totally bitching when it's like that out. And there you go. Pop it in the oven. It's majestic. Remember I promised majestic or something with an M? So not a word of a lie. <laughs> it's like a souffle. It's fine. Kelly came in and like in two words has totally thrown everything here. Can we get back to this? It's my show, it's not her show. No, she's gotta come in and make all kinds of comments. Oh, that French onion soup, oh, it doesn't look like French onion soup, it looks like a souffle. All right, I'm fine, I'm fine. I, I apologize for that. That was unprofessional of me, and I, I shouldn't have done that. <clears throat> Thank you, that also was unprofessional, but it felt good, so now let's carry on. Get off of her, she's gonna want a credit. Come on, I'm right in here. Oh, and underneath, oh, oh, look at that. French onion soup goodness underneath. There is no way in a million French years that I could ever take a bite of that without ruining my entire, I can eat this though. That's one of the best parts, one of the best reasons. Mm. Hot pastry dough. Okay, here we go, come on. It's only soup. How hot can it be? It can be that hot.
You're ridiculous. Don't listen to Kelly. Put that on top. You want to do the bread cheese thing? Do the bread cheese thing. Well, whatever you do, just make that. And I wonder what the weather's doing. Come on, let's have a look. <laughs> it's really hot. <laughs> that was that far from being dangerous. The weather. Oh, woo. woo. That's a nice, it's a nice woo. It's a good thing we're making this soup because the weather is starting to, you know, come back in a minute. You're going to dig what's coming up next. I promise. I did it without cheese this time. It's not the same because that's what people like because then you didn't, this way they're just eating a spoonful of onion, but you know what? I'm never right. So, power to people that want to eat spoonfuls of onion. <laughs> Ew. Okay, here. Ah! You rolling? Yeah. Kelly wants cheese. <laughs> Here you go. There you go. You want some cheese? Here's your cheese. There you go. Have some cheese. Nice. There, I got a bowl of soup here with some cheese for you. Come on. Come have your cheese. Let's take a bite. Oh, look. Kelly said put cheese in the soup. Nice. I'll have a bite of the cheese. Oh my God, that's so much better. How stupid was I not to think about putting cheese in the soup? Now let's try the cheese with some of the puff pastry. That's got to be really good. You are a psycho freak, for sure, okay? Well, actually, pretty good like that. That's amazing. That's pretty darn good. Oh, yeah, you can see the cheese started to melt. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, what would you do without me?